things added to it. I, I just think that's the more efficient way to go. Okay. So with that then, I guess, you ready to present the presentation? Um, the presentation. I mean, I have some comments and, and, and some thoughts. Um, and again, some of them aren't, you know, some of them I have concerns about. Some of them are just maybe, you know, how I would have, uh, you know, written it uh, maybe differently than Carolyn did. It doesn't mean it's wrong. It's just, you know, uh, my stop. input. Yeah, stop. Yeah, I agree. I, I would have done it differently too. Well, my question is still is though. So, um, the order, where she referred to the ordinances, we're going to review those because that's part of what, he's, what Michael sent us. Mm. Yeah, because sections of the zoning <laughs> ordinance make reference to those ordinances. Right. So that's why I didn't want to. Yeah, you want to brought it up. Yeah. Yeah. So, like I said previously, some of those are very old. So when we review those, um, then we give you what we think may be changes that we made in those. Mm -hmm. And then do you, like, from a legal standpoint, determine, you know, the correctness of those changes? Or what kind of that? Sure. I mean, we, we'll, we'll take something updated. Yeah, we'll take your suggestions and, and work on it. I mean, these are all standalone ordinances, by the way. Right. So, um, the, the supervisors then are going to have to decide if they want to go in and start amending different ordinances. Those are different than the, the actual zoning ordinance that we're working with. So, right. And the ordinances you sent us, there are our current, our current, the Donegal Township current ordinances. As best we could determine from the code book. Okay. It, generally, just to speak on that, again, one of the references was to automobile services. The, the, the township code that's already in place doesn't have something specifically called that. You know, the, the, the name is a little different. So uh, the closest we came up with, or one of the things that we came up that dealt with that was you know, automobile services, one of the things were junkyards. So that's one of the sections I sent you to look at that deals with you know, junkyard, junk vehicles. Um, you know, there's references to adult-oriented establishments. Um, in the township code, I think they're called adult use. You know what I mean? So it might not be spot on, or it might be found in a couple different sections in the township code. So, you know, the, I tried to marry them as much as possible and send you what was on, you know, pull them directly and sent you that section. So I guess the, the question would be is if you had concerns with what was on record, that would be something to consider down the road. But as far as zoning, a lot of those are not specific to the zoning ordinance, I guess, or you could. But they are specific in that she referred to them. Or you could address the, them through there. If you could note that those need to be revamped as well, and we could draft those and include it into the zoning code, or that as a standalone ordinance could be amended on its own since it's already in place. I think that's one of the recommendations that you could make to the supervisors because we're just dealing with a land use zoning ordinance. These are not land uses. Uh, but because they're referred to, you can make yeah. some recommendations that, hey, supervisors, you may need to look at that because that's a standalone ordinance that have to, would have to be dealt with, uh, multiple standalone ordinances. But they're not land uses, so that doesn't affect the zoning ordinance. Except for the fact that, like I said, they're referred to. In right. The zoning and you can point that out, which, which gives the supervisors, you know, hey, we've got three of these ordinances that need to be upgraded. And then... That, that's a different challenge. So, the question is, where are we at at that point? Another thing is, when, when are you available to go through this? I understand there's a conflict. Yeah, there's a conflict. I, I have uh, North Surveying on the fourth Tuesday of every month. Okay. I, I can't make the fourth Tuesday meeting. Now, maybe we're only going to be talking two or three special meetings and dealing with this, and then you can keep your fourth Tuesday of the month as your regular scheduled meeting. Uh, but if you want me to, to be here, I can't make that fourth Tuesday. I understand. Michael can, I can't. Okay. Okay. Is there any reason why we can't proceed with Michael? No. He knows more than I do. <laughs> so, with all, with all this input, then, where are we? We should be 
at what point should we bring all this together? So we, we know we're now at this meeting, we're now looking at you know, going right into, which isn't very far at the end of the month. Well, what I'd like to see is that, that those of you that do have recommendations, questions, or changes, just get that to us so, so that we can start manipulating the ordinance. So we don't necessarily even have to wait until the planning commission meeting. You, you don't. don't. I mean, I think you're going to want to have something to read before you, you even have a meeting. Okay, so I, with Jody changes, you can just go ahead and tell us. Yeah, what? sure. Or give us copies of what she's written, however she wants to transmit it to us. I don't know that you could read my chicken scraps. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so that's yeah, like, well, okay. yeah. If, I if, think mine up too. If we're going to email you stuff, shouldn't we just include you in the group of the planning commission? Because then that way we can read what yeah what others are saying. So you don't okay. yeah that's, that's, that's the other good thing yeah. is that Jerry was were able to send us out what was going on already. Yeah. And with the email system, or and if somebody doesn't have an email system or doesn't want an email. They can call me or maybe call Jerry, and we will gladly get you a copy of it. Or if you have input, yeah. give it to one of us, and we'll take care of it. Are you addressing that to the public, or? I think, I, I don't know. Are we? Should we? Should we take it in from the public? No, I, I, well, you just said that Ely's got to say what they wanted to change. Right. Well, I mean, in the proper sequence, I mean, I think the planning commission members take the first stab at it. Okay. And then we absolutely welcome the public yeah, to take the, public the second public. stab. So and then you have your public meeting where, you know, everybody goes on the record. Okay. That makes more sense. Um, I have a copy of the, like, the main body of the email that Michael sent us. And so if anybody wants to, be, be, this is what we are supposed to be reviewing, so if anybody wants to see that tonight, you can come up and, mm -hmm. or we can get you a copy of it or whatever. How are you going to do it? Yeah, I think we definitely should make this available if anyone wants it. With that then, is there anything else we need to do this evening? No. Any other comment? Okay. I have a motion to close the meeting. <laughs> Go ahead, Chief. I'm not going to close the meeting. Close the second. Yes, I second. Okay. All in favor? Yes. Aye. 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 Good night. <laughs>